Ezekiel 22. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Now, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Yes. Show her all her abominations. Then say, This is what the Lord says. The city sheds blood in her own midst, that her time may come, and she makes idols within herself to defile herself. You have become guilty by the blood which you have shed, and have defiled yourself with the idols you have made. You have caused your days to draw short, and have come to the end of your years. Therefore, I have made you a reproach to the nations, and a mockery to all countries. Those near and those far from you will mock you as infamous and full of tumults. Look, the princes of Israel, each one has used his power to shed blood in you. In you they have made light of father and mother. In your midst they have oppressed the stranger. In you they have mistreated the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and profaned my Sabbath. In you are men who slander and cause bloodshed. In you are those who eat on the mountains. In your midst they commit lewd acts. In you men uncover their father's nakedness. In you they violate women who are set apart during their impurity. One commits abomination with his neighbor's wife. Another lewdly defiles his daughter-in-law. And another in you violates his sister, his father's daughter. In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take usury and increase. You have made profit from your neighbors by extortion and have forgotten me, says the Lord God. Behold, therefore, I beat my fist at the dishonest profit that you have made and at the bloodshed which has been in your midst. Can your heart endure? Or can your hands remain strong in the days when I deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken and I will do it. I will scatter you among the nations, disperse you throughout the countries, and remove your filthiness completely from you. You shall defile yourself in the sight of the nations, and then you shall know that I am the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came to me, son of man. The house of Israel has become dross to me. All of them are the copper, tin, iron and lead left inside a furnace, but they are the dross of silver. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Because you have all become dross, I will gather you into Jerusalem as men gather silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin into a furnace to melt it with a fiery blast. So I will gather you in my anger and in my wrath and put you inside the city and melt you. I will gather you, and I will blow on you with my fiery wrath, and you will be melted inside her. As silver is melted in a furnace, so you will be melted inside her, and you will know that I, the Lord, have poured out my wrath upon you. Again the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the land, You are a land that has had no rain or showers in the day of wrath. There is a conspiracy of her princes within her like a roaring lion tearing its prey. They devour people, take treasures and precious things, and make many widows within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They do not distinguish between the holy and the common. They teach that there is no difference between the unclean and the clean. They shut their eyes to the keeping of my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her officials within her are like wolves tearing their prey. They shed blood and kill people to make unjust again. Her prophets whitewash these deeds. For them by false visions and lying divinations they say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says when the Lord has not spoken. The people of the land practice extortion and commit robbery. They oppress the poor and needy and mistreat the alien, denying them justice. I looked for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so I would not have to destroy it. But I found no one. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger, bringing down on their own heads all they have done, declares the Sovereign Lord.